my friends, it's Linda here. Hope you're having a great day. And I'd like to introduce you to a plant that has a bad reputation. Now, let me ask you this question. Have you ever been blamed for something that you didn't do? Because if you have, then you'll understand how this plant must feel. So here we have it. It's called goldenrod. And because we're into the end of September, it's not very golden anymore. But the pollen on the goldenrod plant is actually not airborne. So that means that it is not the reason why you might have allergy symptoms. So it gets blamed for it, but it is not to blame. It is falsely accused. Um, cool thing about this, though, is this particular goldenrod plant has a little ball on it. We call it a goldenrod gall, G-A-L-L. -L. And inside is a small insect larva. So if you want, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I just sacrificed one goldenrod plant that has a goldenrod gall to show you what's inside. But I'm not going to encourage you to do that. We'll leave the galls out there so that animals can use them as a food source. But I will show you what this one looks like. So I cut open the goldenrod gall with my trusty jackknife and I'll show you what it looks like inside. So taking a look at it up close, it looks kind of like a little white wiggly worm, almost like a wiggly piece of rice. And that sometimes is referred to as a spotted wing fly larva. But regardless, it's a good food source for chickadees and other birds. Sometimes you'll notice when you see a gall on a plant that there's been a hole drilled right through it. That's usually because a bird has eaten it. And if the gall survives, it will actually crawl its way out eventually. So another cool fact is that the goldenrod gall larva is actually a wild edible. That means that people can eat it. You could take that little guy out and put him on the end of your tongue and chew him up. Doesn't that sound yummy? No, and I'm not going to do it for you because I'm not really into eating insects. And I'm not going to encourage you to do this at home either because it is a food source for nature and we do want to leave nature where it is and reduce our impact. But uh, nevertheless, a very cool fact. It's a beautiful day. Don't you forget to get outside and enjoy nature.